trying to get away from it all. Everything I've known, everything I've dreamed, every aspiration I've had. So I decided to run into this empty space of hopes and dreams just to get away from it all. As an individual, I tried to run away, but I knew I couldn't stay away from everybody and everything I've known. Everything I've written in my many years of writing, everything I felt, every emotion, everything I've had to face, all I felt like doing is just shoving, tossing it, and throwing it all away like it was worth nothing. I wanted to push it around and aggressively open all these pages, turn it all upside down, because I felt like I no longer could look at it. It was making me frustrated. I decided to run away into the darkness, into the dark sense of night. I felt like there's no place safer to hide myself. And as I sat there in this darkness, I was thinking about all the negative things people would say about chasing these dreams, about wasting time. I tried my hardest to look around, but all I can think about is the thoughts that people would tell me all the time. All I can do was to think about putting my head down in disgrace. And at this time, and at this place, I was forced to stare at my reflection. But what was staring back at me didn't feel like me at all. It felt unrecognizable. I knew it wasn't me. But at the time, I knew that it was part of me. And I knew I can be positive if I knew it was possible to be. Because what I was feeling had me against the door. It had me against the wall. I was feeling a little bit blue. Being standing there for a while. But I knew I had to find some sunlight in my thought process. I tried to look around for some inspiration. So I closed my eyes and opened a book from my past that gave me some inspiration of hope that I can look back and believe that I can do this. And therefore, I closed this chapter in my past to open a possible new one where I can walk into a new chapter of dreams, hopes, and inspirations into the new sunlight of peace and aspirations I've been looking for.